Hello everyone! We have made it to the last video and I'm hype as you can tell. I'm so happy uh, about you know the way this is going and I'm really excited to get this content to you guys and I can't wait to see how you respond and how you benefit and all that stuff. So thank you so much for following this journey. Um, I hope you guys have learned something from it and as always I ask that you subscribe and turn on notifications and like this video if this is beneficial to you like did you learn something have you learned something in the previous videos go back and like them too you know um and the whole point of this is to just you know help you guys out that's really it and it really helps to know when you guys comment below and like the video that okay I did something good, like they, they, they got it. <laughs> so the last subject of this Kristen's DT survival guide is general chemistry. And I leave it for last because it's my least favorite. <laughs> it is my least, least favorite um, subject on the DT. It was and probably will be continue to be. However, it was the highest, it was the section I scored the highest in. That and reading, comp both in general chemistry and reading comprehension, I got a 24 on both of them. That was my highest score. So when I saw that, I was like, God, are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, all right, okay, I trust you. <laughs> um, I was hyped, I was really hyped because I, I knew that general chemistry was something I struggled with and so I put a lot of effort into it. And so here are the resources that I used to study for it, and this is how I study for it. So there were three resources that I used to study for general chemistry, and if you have watched my previous videos, I feel like you kind of know what I'm gonna say. So number one, Chad's videos, $50 a month, really great classroom style teaching, and he could break down every topic you need to know for the DET. It's, he's amazing. He's he's my best friend. And again, he doesn't know it, but he's my best friend. Um, second video, second second resource is DAT Destroyer. It's one hundred fifty dollars, and it has hundreds and hundreds of questions of you know general chemistry, organic chemistry, quantitative reasoning, and biology. General chemistry section is great. It has all the explanations you need. It breaks down every single question. And so that once you answer it, you can review it and understand why you got it right or why you got it wrong. And last but not least, Bay, D A T Bootcamp Bay, Ari, I love you, man. Ari is the CEO of D A T Bootcamp. <laughs> He's Bay, but he don't know it. But that's cool. Whatever. <laughs> um, no, but being serious, I love D A T Bootcamp. It's been the greatest resource for me and. Um, the CEO, Ari, he's such a great, you know, compassionate person who is, you know, passionate about helping people succeed and that's awesome. And so I am down with that. So how I study for general chemistry. So like I said, general chemistry and biology were my weakest subjects, so I spent the most time with those. I did a ton of DAT destroyer questions in general chemistry. When, then I would go back, review the questions, see what I got wrong or right and then go to Chad, my buddy Chad, Chad's videos, and watch those sections that I had issues with. And then I would go to DAT boot camp and take practice tests, timed practice tests that, you know, and again, see if I improved on those subjects. And if I didn't, I would see, you know, okay, write that, I need to review that tomorrow. Like I need to make sure I understand this frontwards and backwards. Because like organic chemistry, you have to understand the why in general chemistry. You can't just say, oh, you know, this is how it is and this is how it's always going to be. No, you need to fully understand it because they can take one question about stoichiometry or something crazy like that and ask a billion questions on it. And so you can't just know, oh, I know what stoichiometry is and I know the basic calculations and how to do it. You need to understand the why. The why is huge. And so practice, 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 practice questions with general chemistry are important. And um, for me, it was a part that I took the longest on when it came to the three sciences, biology, 
organic chemistry and general chemistry. I always took the longest on general chemistry because it's not just concept questions, it's also math. And so that's why I wanted to get through biology quickly and get through organic chemistry quickly because I, I knew that I needed a lot of time in general chemistry. So know yourself, as Drake said, the great poet, Drake. <laughs> um, and plan accordingly is basically what I'm saying. And because general chemistry was one of my weaker subjects, I made sure I did a little bit of it every single day. There's probably like one or two days that I did not study for general chemistry. <laughs> which I did not like studying for it because I don't like that subject. But, you know, it was worth it in the end, especially when I saw that score, I was like, oh. <gasps> okay, you did that. God did that and you did that, yes. <laughs> and I'm going to leave you guys with, again, my major key that I'm going to always emphasize. Never feel comfortable with anything. Never be like, oh, I got that. I don't need to study it anymore. Yes, you do, boo. Yes, you do. You do. Trust me, you do. Because that'll be the worst feeling whenever you take that exam, you excel in all the hard subjects and the easy subjects that you neglected, you don't do so hot in. So make sure you don't get cocky. Review everything as much as you can. Rotate them. If you get tired of general chemistry, move on to perceptual ability. If you get tired of that, move on to quantitative reasoning. You know, there's no like set way to study for the DAT. You kind of have to just do it your own way. There's no in one individual way that's going to work for everybody. Studying for 12 hours a day is not going to work for everybody. It did not work for me. Studying at home won't work for everybody. It did not work for me. And so this is a great time to figure out how you best learn and how you best study. And it's great because you can take practice tests and see how you improve. So you can see what's effective and what's not effective. This is the end of the road. We are done with our DAT Survival Guide series. Um, I really hope you guys benefited from this series and I pray that you, know, you guys excel on your DATs. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this video, like it, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, all your pre-dental friends in your clubs, and you know, share the wealth, share the knowledge, so that all you guys can exceed and become boss dentists one day and you just stunting on people and you, you know what, but that's not what it's all about, it's you know, about yourself, so. <laughs> Ah! I wish you guys the best of luck in studying for the DUT and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Peace. Love you guys. Bye.